Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel InfoStreet. In today's video, we will be creating an API proxy from an API provider that we created in the last video. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend checking it out first. The link is in the description below. So here the question arises, why do we need an API proxy? An API proxy act as a gateway between the API consumer and the actual API provider. It allows us to modify, secure and control the API traffic before it reaches to the backend system. This is crucial for implementing security policies, rate limiting and other essential functionalities. So let's get started and explore how to create an API proxy in the integration suite. So open your BTP account. Go to your sub account, instances and subscriptions. Open integration suite. Uh, you need to navigate to configure. Let me just close it. Click on configure APIs. So in the previous video, we have created this particular API provider, Northwind Odata API. Now we will be using the same API provider to create API proxy. Okay. So click on create. So. Uh, you can create API proxy from three types of sources, API provider, API proxy and URL. Okay. So um, we have already created API provider in the last video. So we will select this particular option. But let me just explain uh, about these two. What is API proxy and URL? So API proxy is self-explanatory. It just wraps an existing API proxy inside a new API proxy, which we create. There can be multiple reasons for it. Example, provisioning a partner or user access to existing proxy without sharing the same details or credentials or sharing one API proxies over different hosts for different landscapes where you just change host alias while still pointing to the same API proxy. And for this URL, so using this uh, URL as a source, uh, you can uh, wrap the API URL for which details are provided in the wizard directly. Okay. This mode of creating API proxy makes sense if you are trying to expose just one API service to the consumers instead of catalog of services for which API provider option is better choice. Okay. Here you need to enter the URL, the uh, complete URL. Okay. Let me just enter it. So this is the URL. For the URL option, you need to enter the complete URL. But as of now, let's use API provider here. Select your API provider. So as you can see this, uh, uh, this asterisk symbol. So these fields are important while creating an API proxy, the URL, the name, the title and API state, host alias and API base path. So in the URL, we need to fill the path which will be suffixed to your API provider to point to the catalog of services. So let me just quickly copy and paste it. So this is the particular path. Okay, that will be suffixed to your API provider. Now enter the name. You can enter any name and that will be visible in your dashboard. Okay, it will be appearing in your dashboard after you create the API proxy. So let me just quickly type the name here. Okay, so API state. So we have three states active, alpha and beta. We choose alpha if it is with developer for initial development and local testing. We choose beta if it is handed over to the selected users for testing it out to seek their feedback and active if it has been rolled out for the production use. Okay, as of now, let's choose alpha. Okay, so API base path. API base path is like an identifier which can be used to single out one proxy among many hosted on the same host alias or server. 
so as of now let me just enter um, the path as north wind okay and now we have the service type o data rest and soap so this allows the developer to decide how the consumer should be consuming proxy depending on which service you are wrapping the options change accordingly you can choose where the proxy should be consumed as o data if available plain rest or soap service okay let me choose o data as of now click on create So you see you have resource tab here. You have all the services displayed as UI document for open API specification for this proxy. So you cannot test this API as of now because it is not deployed. So you need to deploy this particular API proxy. Click on the deploy button. Okay, now this particular API proxy is deployed. You can just directly use this API proxy URL and try to open it. See, you are able to access it. Now let us see, now let me just access a particular uh, collection. Okay, let me just convert it into JSON format. Okay. And that's it. You have successfully created an API proxy in SAP integration suite. This will help you manage and secure your APIs more effectively, providing a robust interface for your client application. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to InfoStreet channel for more tutorials and tips on SAP integration suite and other tech related content. In the next video, we will be testing the API proxies. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.